Yeah, I gotta get the board up here. couple of years ago, if for audio in general, fixing this stuff for a year or two. I've been fiddling around with electronics for a lot longer than that. It was my friend Mike who was living here when, when I moved in. He was selling all this stuff. And I'd already had, had knowledge of electronics. I'm studying engineering at school. So I ended up messing with some of this stuff and just went from there. Two of the transistors are missing and there's no screws in any of them. There's supposed to be screws in all of those holes right there. And there's supposed to be transistors there and there. And those things are five bucks a pop. That means we got to replace all of them because you want them all to be comparable. And there's 14 per side. What about the other side looks like? Something like this is getting a full restoration. Like, it's a 30 year old amp, it's not going to be working as well as it was, and there's going to be parts that are near the end of their lifetime. So, you get it, for something like this, I just do everything I can and get it working probably better than new. Sometimes people just stop, want stuff fixed so they can resell it. But this is the kind of job I prefer. So, what exactly is that job? Just fixing things? This? Yeah. This, I'll restore it. Well, you can get it working too, but just do everything that needs to be done so it works as well as it possibly can. Not just getting it up and running, which is what some of the jobs are. This thing's going to go over budget on parts. It's going to cost at least 300 parts, I think. Combined with the money that you spend on ordering new parts and the money that people pay you to repair things, would you say there's a big difference? Well, what do you mean? Well, I mean, like, you make more than you spend? Well, yeah. So that's being replaced with two caps. So there, there's 200 bucks in parts. There, there. Between the output transistors, that's another. Uh, that's another 150. Depends on the job or something like this. It's probably be about 300 in labor, and I, I, you got to choose all the parts, order them. And once it's it? on the bench, it just takes a couple of days usually. Okay. So it's usually pretty good if you make it hourly. But sometimes for a simple repair, it's somebody who just wants to sell it again, like the record store owners, and you don't. Like, sometimes you like, you just can't really make that much off in the end if you spend a long time fiddling around with it. Oh wow, one of the capacitors is missing. Is this just a hobby or is it's it something you really fun. want to do on the side? Well, it's a good sideline and it's paying, so it's a hobby that makes money is a pretty good deal. Like, I don't want to be doing it, fixing everybody's uh, stuff forever. That's why it's good to focus on just a few restoration jobs like this one. I'd consider it a passion. Like, I, I love the gear. I just. It's rewarding to get something up and working as well as it can. That's why I like when, I, when you get to go in and do everything as opposed to just getting up and running so it can break again in another five years. Like, something this old, you've got to do a lot more than just that. Look at the size of that transformer. That's huge. Okay. The transformer itself weighs about 20 pounds. There's a lot of stuff around here i got to fix. And there's always some, some, someone bugging me for something. I got you. Like, I gotta control it and not let not let people bring truckloads. They will if I let them. There you go. See that popular? Well, there's more. Than, there's several people who resell this stuff. Like my friend Mike, who got me into this. He knew all the people who were buying and trading and selling this stuff in the city. So I gotta deal with a lot of them. And then there's a lot of like individual customers, or people who want the stuff for themselves to listen to. That's the people who can budget for something like this. Oh, well, I can't really tell what's yet, but I don't think it's been monkeyed with the same way the other one has. It's 
still need some work though. If we replace, if we start to have to replace some of these, we got to do all 28. They're the output transistors. Okay. The final stage of power amplification. This thing puts out, this little thing will like 200, rated for 250 watts, continuous. So that's how much power it can put out. So the power's got to come from somewhere. The amp like those are for the amplification. Okay. It's business in a way. Yeah, I would, I, was, I would kind of think that it's kind of like a business. Mm -hmm. um, but like, there's customers who keep coming back. There's a lot of stuff upstairs for sale. It's not, you can't really call it steady. Sometimes more stuff sells than other times. And there's like, people bringing me steady repairs. There's a guy who owned a couple people who own record stores who bring me stuff for fix. This one here has six per channel. This one here has 14 per it's channel. It's like business slash hobby or something like that. I don't want to be fixing uh, this fixing a hundred dollar items for people forever, but certainly restoration projects are always always something that I'd like to do. What I need to do now is I need to take a couple pictures of it so I know where to put all the wires back. So you can take pictures of me taking pictures.